guys welcome back to my channel today is Saturday August the 18th and I just want to welcome everyone back and um, if you're new here please hit the subscribe button and um, if you wouldn't mind I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and um, I wanted to um, give a shout out to my niece uh, Kylie Elizabeth uh, now she is the one who inherited my sister's bridal doll, um, Betty Sue, and Kylie wanted me to tell everybody that she has taken very good care of one shoe, Betty Sue. And Kylie has already started back to school, and um, she is in the fifth grade this year. So if, if you wouldn't mind, just leave Kylie a sweet little comment you know, down below in the comment section. Uh, also today, I'm going to show y'all the um, the heirloom uh, bringing home baby outfit that I had told y'all about. Um, now I bought this outfit in 1973 for my firstborn son who is Jason. Uh, so I'm going to show that to y'all right now. Okay, it has a little hat that came with it. And it has a little collar and all the little sleeves. And this is it. This is what I was telling y'all about. I brought my son Jason home from the hospital, uh, Gulfport Memorial in Gulfport, Mississippi, uh, February the 10th, 1973. And, um, you know, back then we didn't know the gender, so the little outfit has a, a blue and a pink uh, little puppy dog on it. And it, it is how uh, trim fit. I don't remember where I bought it. Small, zero to 12 pounds. And look, it was actually made in the USA. Remember those days? <laughs> when items were actually made in the United States. It has a little feed. And we've taken very good, good care of it all these, all these years, 45 years. And this does fold over to keep the little the little fingers warm and um, now I don't have a picture of my son Jason um, with me uh, he lives in Orlando Florida and he does have his baby book but I have a picture of my son Jeremy who was born February the 18th 1978 and this is the day that I brought him home from the hospital he's with my uh, his father my husband at the time John L Sullivan and here's Jeremy. Uh, he was about three days old, and he has on the little white outfit. And I believe that he's in, in it here, too, but you can't see it because of the blanket. Okay. And also, I brought um, my daughter Jill home from the hospital. She was born February the 26th, 1981. Yes, all my children were born in February, eight days. Their birthdays are eight days apart. Oh, and here's Jill in the little outfit. And here's another picture of Jill the same day. Um, that's Glenda Merle, and that's Jill in the little outfit. And Jeremy was three years old, and Jason was eight. And that's a little welcome home sign that Jason and Jeremy had made for me and Jill. I was uh, 30 years old. And then I have a picture of uh, Issa. This is my grandson. Um, and here he is in the little outfit. He doesn't have the hat on in this picture. But um, as y'all can see, you know, all the, my three children and the grandchildren were all brought home in this outfit. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. And um, tomorrow I'm going to make a video, um, I'm going to be showing you a few pictures of um, Jill's wedding. And I'm going to show you the bridal bouquet that I handmade for her wedding. So um, y'all just um, have a great day. And I did want to tell you that um, a lot of things have changed nowadays. Uh, let me turn this around. You know, a lot of things have changed in the... Um, labor and delivery room and I was just wanting to know if y'all would leave me some comments about the changes that you've encountered all of you new moms and young moms um, I mean it was just four years ago when Issa was born 
and uh, they they took him right away. Uh, they did place him on Jill's chest uh, for a couple of hours, and then they took him and bathed him. But uh, this time, I mean, things have changed dramatically. Um, they do not bathe the baby for 24 hours. Uh, they just leave the vernets, uh, the you know, the white coating on the baby, uh, the vernets coating. They do leave that on the baby for 24 hours. Um, and they do, you know, advocate that the baby stays on the mother's chest as much as possible. Um, they don't have a nursery anymore for the babies. The baby does stay in the room with the mother, and they do uh, promote breastfeeding. There was not a breast pump or a bottle in sight on that floor. And uh, this is Winthrop University Hospital. It's a, you know, um, it is affiliated with a New York University. And I was just wondering if they've implemented these, um, well, they really aren't new procedures. <laughs> you know, they're from hundreds of years ago. They're just now realizing that, you know, the vernix is, um, you know, just filled with antibodies and good things for the baby, and it soaks back into the baby's skin. So I was just amazed, you know, that they're finally getting back to the way that it's supposed to be. Um, I know when Jason was born, the hospital was just full of uh, bottles and Infamil and Similac and just promoting bottle feeding and bottle feeding. And I just about had to fight to be able to breastfeed my baby. So I was just wondering if y'all could just leave me some comments about your experiences. So this video is getting too long, and I just love all of you so much. And just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.